watching our nation my name is neema chabra and today we have with us two very big gems of bollywood one of them is karta darta of made in china mr michael hello sir thank you for calling a gem <laughs> and the other one is my personal favorite woman irani who has given us so many versatile characters of bollywood welcome sir thank you so very much it's so nice to be here okay so first things first made in china the trailer is loved by the audience people are giving all the positive responses to it What do you have to say about it? Did you expect it? Um, I think when you, when you set out to make a film, um, you may love it yourself. You can never take it for granted that the audience loved it. You might find a scene funny yourself. You may never take it for granted that the audience will find it funny. What you find funny, somebody else may not. You might cry in a scene. Somebody will say, "Kya kya tha? Kyu ho gaya?" Never take anything for granted. But having said that. If you make a film which is honest, with its well intention, and you put your heart and soul into it, there will be at least a reasonable amount of people that should love it, even though we don't take it for granted. And we are very happy with this. Yeah, I mentioned that. Of course, we expected, uh, but more than uh, expected, just good response. Uh, it is a narrative which is uh, which is quite different. And more than, uh, in fact, uh, responding to what we feel about the trailer now, we are much more curious about what people think about the film, because as he said that it's also been made with an intent. No? So I hope it resonates uh, the same intent with which we have made the film. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mikhail, the let's talk about sex is emerging as a different genre in Bollywood nowadays. Be it make it owner. Or you might also say that क्या कहना से start हुआ था ये चीज़, but then it was properly disclosed in Vicky Donner and then Shubh Mangal Sahu Khan and then now recently we got Khandani Shubha Khanna and people are accepting such kind of films. So do you think like which part does Made in China fit into this category? See, as you mentioned that they have been films yeah. on this subject. It's not that uh, we haven't spoken about it. Uh, there is a story, a journey of a character in the film, and we have. Try to deal with this subject yeah. with our sensibilities and with a certain narrative style. Um, there have been multiple uh, films on multiple issues. We have tried to deal and talk about this subject in a certain way, uh, be humorous with our sensibilities. Uh, so let's see how much that people resonate with and uh, how much it comes across. Uh, of how are we trying to say this subject? But do you think that it affects the production at some extent? Because even after watching all these films, there are a certain kind of audience who might not like such topics. But then I would also add to it that uh, in the last decade, this has changed a lot. But then, does it affect something? Certainly not. I, I, it, everything has a context. I feel it's how, how you say it. You know? and we, we, the way we have designed uh, the story and we have tried to say it. Uh, we are pretty confident that it should come across in a way we intend to. So certainly not about uh, worrying about at least touching this subject. Yeah. What do you have to say about it? I, I'll say something uh, which is there will be audiences that may not respond to a subject like this. I, I think the movie is about audiences saying that you should respond yeah. in, a, in, the, in, in a positive way. There are some audiences that do not respond to action. There are some audiences that don't respond to. Want to uh, Weepies, okay. So we, you got to make a choice and and and, and go down that route uh, as best you can with the right intention and and as and as uh, and as as dignified as possible. Uh, having said that, that is just the backdrop of the story. The story, the main story is the journey of our hero, the young, uh, the the boy who wants to have a little more self worth in life, who wants to be an entrepreneur. Has no has no respect or uh, any credence within his family circle. Uh, with his wife, she wants him to be something more than just a chapai seller. You know what I mean? It is that journey with the backdrop of what we discussed that is the core of the film. We are following the character. That is just a backdrop in many ways, and we we and, and that is that is a that is a subject that that I think should be addressed in in plain speak. It should be in plain speak, and that is the beauty beauty of the thing. Then you if you have not you sorry if someone has a, a heart problem you go to no you go to 
cardiologist. You have diabetes, you go to a diabetologist. If you, if you, if you have some problem with your eyes, you go to an op 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 ophthalmic surgeon. Same way. Please accept it that this is part of not only your, your physiology, but also your psychology. And it can only repair things, build bridges, and, and sometimes save marriages and sometimes sanity. It, it can affect your sanity. So what's the harm in seeking medical help? What's the harm in, in, in going to a, a psychiatrist if you, have, if you have depression issues? People don't like to talk about depression either. It's a taboo thing. Oh, I can't go to a psychiatrist. People will come to know why. Similarly, over here, it's the same thing. But having said that, it's still the journey of our hero that he wants to be uh, an entrepreneur and of some self-worth. So as Prithali said, it's much more than just yeah, about this. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to add that uh, effect, you know, that what does it. In fact, what I would want to add is that uh, it's so deeper, it's so intertwined. As you mentioned, it's linked with so many other things, psychological, clinical, probably even five more tools with less to address this, such a complex subject like that. Uh, Bowman sir, we at Virus from 3 years or Dr. Asthana from Ona by MBBS. You have given us some amazing characters in Bollywood that more than your name, we remember the character of that movie. That's better. Yeah, because e even when I was in conversation with Manoj Bajpai and I told him told that, you know, Sardar Khan is sitting here from the hands of us. So he said that, don't take him out. Yeah. Take out Manoj Bajpai, but don't Correct. take out the character. That's Correct. what you also do it. So, do you think you are into the category of method actors? <coughs> No, uh, look, method acting is, is a very loosely used term. Okay. It's a very dangerously used term. There are some people who follow, uh, to do, do certain things and, you know, claim to be method. Look, the method works for you, you're a method actor. Simple. Your method is yours. But true method acting, which, is, which was, uh, you know, postulated by uh, Stanislavski is a completely different thing. So I, I would never like to say that I understand Stanislavski as well. I have my own way of working. That's my method. If you'd like to call it a method acting, fine. Otherwise, it's my method. Yeah. Okay, so there are also actors who say that, you know, it becomes very difficult for them to come out of the character that they are in the movie. And then there are also actors who say that one day they can do this role and other day they can get converted into the other role. So, is it with you? Like, which category do you belong to? <laughs> uh, I, I, I used to do a character uh, in, in, a, in a play, one of my first plays, uh, where I played a 75 year old man. I was 35 then, in my, one of my first plays. And, and I, I used to come on stage and I used to continue talking like that. And, and I, I used to say, you know, you know why you continue talking like that? And why you continue behaving like that? It's because the audience is applauding you. And you want to live continue that that elation so you keep be talking like that thinking that the audience is there and you're living that that, that that life as a character for and extending it for your own ego and gratification so Sudhir Joshi when I was stage actor yeah. and bus bus great bus and he said you open a bottle of gold cream you know Cream? Yeah. Put your, take out. Put one, two, three, four, put five, six dots on that. Okay. Now rub. You're common here, you know. Rub your. Simple. Jada simple. It is wow. proper. Because you don't want to give up that character. Yeah. Because ten minutes before, people was giving you a standing wish. Yes, yes. But you got to go home. You got to be your father. You become become a husband. Don't be, hey, hey, guys. We don't want to listen to you. We heard you on stage. Get back to get back to real life. Wow, wow, <laughs> that's so amazing. Okay, this is for both of you. When we talk about performances, or uh, for that matter, perfectionist. There's not just one actor in Bollywood now. Actors like Raj Kumar Rao, Manoj Bajpayee, Aishman Purana, Vicky Kaushal, and so many uh, such actors have proved that uh, they can't be just hero, they can be a character, they can be someone who audience really love, you know, to right. watch on screen. Right. So do you think this is evolving in terms of, like, acting is evolving in terms of cinema? Of course. Director is who? Of course, of course yes. Now, again, uh, adding to your, uh, yes. this question that uh, of my friends also, they asked me that, how was your experience of the government side? First thing. So, <coughs> <laughs> see that was a pressure I had during shooting, you know. 
See, now the thing is that the kind of character he was playing, uh, sexuality plays in the film, I needed someone who uh, can do just beyond acting. I needed someone who uh, can do just beyond uh, performing. I needed someone who can do just beyond saying lines. Uh, since the character was so complex and what we were trying to do with the character, I needed someone who can bring some immense amount of dignity uh, to that character and elegance to the character. Uh, very difficult to make out what's real and what's real. Uh, not just that, I needed someone who, uh, with whom, uh, who's at my back uh, and we are together trying to build that character and see that what's okay, not what's not okay. Because we were working on thin line, the kind of subject we were. And we made sure that uh, we have to, uh, we may not get uh, all the notes correct, but we can't portray anything that is incorrect or which is not correct. So uh, I'm glad that I could have him in the film and uh, not just an actor, but uh, in multiple roles, uh, he could enlighten us, you know, in touching uh, and just developing and creating that character. Oh my yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was about to ask. I accept this Okay, so uh, nowadays platforms like Netflix and Amazon Prime are coming up with very good content as well. Do you think this might affect Bollywood cinema at some extent? I think so. We thought we discussed about this, I think so. But uh, since Emergent of web, I think so. We can see the year of 2018 and 19 was so incredible. So, everything in every space has been doing individually good at space. And I think 2019 has already proved that it was one of the most incredible years we had. Not just box office wise, but the kind of different films coming. I don't think so. It's going to make a difference. So, uh, Bowman, sir, I have this question like since a very long time, and everyone is waiting for this. Internet is waiting for this. Please tell us when Vanna by 3 is coming. Tell us something that nobody has heard ever. <laughs> I have some news for you. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and even soon? When? The news is that I have no news. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> what See, I'll tell you what the, what the deal is. Yeah. Vanna by the series is so, so wonderful. Because the script is so, so wonderful. Yes. If the makers make a third Munna Bhai, believe me, it will be the biggest box office mix. It will, because of the anticipation. No doubt. But is that what they are looking for? No, I think they want to be make a film that's worthy of the love that Munna Bhai yeah. series has got. If it does not match that, they don't want to in cash upon a franchise. They want to make a story that will touch you. And the bar is so high. The first one was about a Bunda who wanted to be a doctor just to make his father feel proud of him. That's a big ask to pull off. The second one is bringing back Gandhi. My God, big ask. Third, how, do you, how can the third one be a, anything less? So it's very difficult to grab it. And believe me, even if they make a mediocre film, it will make the most money from all of them. But that's not what they're looking for. They want to make the best film. That, they, that all the people who have loved the film, that film, the film is here. You cannot make a mistake there for money. And you've got to respect that. So the movie is going to be ready. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we hope it comes soon. Nikhil, you're the movie, Wrong Side on Who won our national award. And uh, Made in China has all the elements to get that too. And you have actors like Bowman sir, Raj Kumar sir, Parish Rao sir, Gajraj Rao sir. Wow. Oh my god, such a strong cast. You're a lucky man. Quite lucky, quite lucky. So, do I get an invite? Invite for? <laughs> for Made in China winning a national award? No, it's too much to ask for, you know. I mean, just the fact that I got a chance to do my first Hindi film and uh, every actor, and I'll be very honest, not because now we're doing an interview here, uh, each of his own beat uh, Raj the way he is or beat Sumin. I've been so fond of him watching him on there. I've seen him. Beat Gajrat's uh, kind of endearing quality things and Baban sir as I mentioned for what I wanted. 
they are all my favorite people honestly so getting all of them in your first project is a only a wish a filmmaker can do and that wish has got fulfilled and that too is releasing in diwali yeah. it's like a triple bonanza you know so national award to You never should think like that. I'll, I'll tell you though, they were talking about national awards. I'll tell you this little story. I went for the national awards a couple of years ago uh, to support my friends Ram Madhwani, who had won for Nirja, and uh, Rajesh Mahapuskar, who had won for Ventilator. Okay, so I was there, and I was introduced to this this young man who was, you know, so so he introduced me, saying, "Oh, this guy." Uh, Directed wrong side Raj, you know, I read a lot about wrong side Raj. Was under the law. Yeah, yeah, no, no, and great, all that was fine. And then he said the line that everybody says at a party, at a restaurant, or at the national awards. I want to work with you, sir. I said, ah, yeah, okay, okay. I said that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Take now, take now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. अभी बोल सब लोग बोलते हैं यार I want to work with you, I want to work with you. ये तो खाली मतलब दूसरा कुछ बोलने के लिए है ही नहीं तो बोलना पड़ता है. I want to work with you. I wish. I said okay. But I didn't get it. But really, he sent me a message. Then I said, I'm doing my first Hindi film. I want to work with you. He meant it. He really meant it. Meant it. It's great. See, first I was too intimidated, and secondly, I didn't have a pickup line then. So <laughs> first I was too intimidated with the. Abi, oh, you intimidation that you see, it will teach me on the side. Thank you so much. I said, brother, one more. Uh, one. <laughs> ऐसे बात करते हैं वन मोर थोड़ा है चलो थैंक यू सो मच गाइस हाय दिस इज गोमन इरानी हाय माय नेम इज निखिल मुसाले एंड यू आर वाचिंग अरबनीशी